Ooh, man, it's hot as heck in here. We gotta turn on some AC. What? There's no AC in this thing? Man, it's hot as heck. Shoo, man, it's hot as heck. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take this thing to the shop and get the AC fixed. Chris here with Prestige Auto. Today we've got this 2011 Chevy Aveo here in the garage. It is hot as heck in this car. I think the AC compressor stopped working, so I'm gonna show you guys how to take that thing off, put it back on, get it cool in your car again. Let's get our tools. Okay, so it looks like this thing pretty easy to get to try it down there with that blue label on it looks like it's probably gonna be easier to get to from underneath so we're gonna lift it up and get down there and try to take it off um, let's see there is a uh, looks like right on the top right here there's a bolt there so the way we can take these lines off but the very first thing we want to do is you want to get yourself a pump like this right here and some gauges and we're gonna hook it up and we're going to vacuum this thing out and get all the uh, all the refrigerant out of it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna hook it up to this thing and get all the refrigerant out of it, and then we can start disassembling it. So let's get all this hooked up, get it vacuumed out, and then we'll start the removal process. Alright, while that thing's vacuuming out, another thing that we're definitely going to need is um, a new AC compressor. So we just got this one in, open it up and check it out. So I found one of these at AutoZone and they wanted like 300 bucks for it. I looked around on Amazon and I found this one for 139 but um, they said that it was new with a damaged box for 79 So I went with the $79 one. We'll find out how good this does. Here it is. Looks pretty good. Said it was brand new, not rebuilt. Only problem was damaged box. So it's looking good, it looks like. We're gonna have a bolt here, one there one underneath to take this old one off and our plug there and this is the spot that I was showing you up top with your lines coming in once it gets done vacuuming out it looks like we'll probably start with um, taking this off pulling off those lines and then we'll go underneath and get this bottom bolt underneath actually we'll have to take the belt off first so we need to go ahead and get the belt loose get it off I'll show you guys how to do that once the belts off then we can start taking these three bolts so let's go take this belt off and uh, get started with that. Okay, we got that black cover off that was right here we went ahead and took off the wheel because it looks so much easier to get to with it off so we got it off there was a black cover here there were two 10 millimeters here and like two on the bottom and it just kind of popped off now we can see our belt right there is the AC compressor it looks like right up in there is um, the tensioner pulley so we're gonna get our wrench and uh, get up in there and release the tension on it so we can pop this belt off so let's go in there and see how that looks Okay, so we're under here, and I think this right here is going to be our tensioner pulley. So we're going to get a wrench on that, see if we can't release the tension. Let's try that out. Alright, so what it looks like is beside the center bolt, there's this uh, weird little star head thing here on the side. I used a 13 16 fits on it, and you want to pull it down or pull it to the right and it'll loosen it up so that we can pop this belt off right here so let's pull this thing off
Okay, we got that belt off. And this is what I was talking about. That little thing right there. So put your 13 16 on there and your ratchet and pull on it and it'll loosen it up so you can pop this off. Now we've got it vacuumed out, got the belt off. I've already looked under here and it's like right, right there's one of the bolts. There's another one over there and one up top. This thing comes off pretty easy. So let's see what size those bolts are there and get them off. All right, let's see. We're gonna start taking this thing apart now. Right underneath, there's one here. It's a 12 millimeter. Right over here on the side, there's a 12 millimeter. And then there's gonna be one right around up on the top. It might be easier to get from the top. We'll see, look, we'll go ahead and get these two out right here and then we'll jump up top. Okay, we got it out. I mean, that was pretty dang easy. There's three 12 millimeters, one there, one there, and one on the bottom. Um, this nut up here was also a 12 millimeter to take these lines off. So, we're gonna pop this off, slide this one back into place, put those three, um, slide that one back into place, put those three bolts back in there, and uh, start getting everything back together. Oh yeah. Don't forget this plug. Whenever you get all those down, it mine fell and was hanging by the plug. It was much easier to get to that way, so let it come down. And I put a little flathead on the, either side. There's little tabs, and then it just came right off. It'll plug back into there, right there. All right, let's go. Right now we got it back in there pretty easy one there one over on that side and one around the top we put our 13 16s back on there pulled it down and got our belt all back on only thing left to do is go back up top hook these lines back in and then charge her back up so let's let it off of this jacks put the wheel back on this plastic cover back on get all this stuff wrapped up wrapped up we'll lower it back down do everything up top okay guys we got her all back together we got the wheel back on the belt is on we got the hoses back up top got those on so I found out on mine the little stud that comes out here um, you hand you go ahead and take that out and screw it in to the new one and then these lines slide over that stud and then you put the nut on the top so now we're going to reducing it up. I just got one of these little cheap kits right here. Makes it easier for some of you guys that don't have the whole manifold gauge set. So you just get this little kit, screw it onto the can. You want to get it up to about 45 PSI on there, into the green, somewhere along there. You just hold it down. Um, actually, you get in your car, turn the car on, turn the AC on, full blast, turn it on. And uh, you'll hold this down. After a couple seconds, you'll hear the AC compressor kick on. Mine's already kicked on. I've been out here filling it up a little bit, so we'll just keep on keep filling it up until it gets to about 45 PSI. So we're gonna keep filling this up. That was a pretty easy job. And uh, we'll go to the inside and see see how cold it is in there. Okay guys, one very important thing I forgot to mention, please don't forget to do this. You want to do this before you even get started. Okay, so look way down in here, way down in there, and go ahead and stop what you're doing, and go ahead and please like this video, and please uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And then you're good to go. Like I said, do that very first thing, and then everything else I showed you, and it should work good. Let's go around here and check it out. We've got her running. Oh, she's feeling good, feeling good. So this right there, we're blowing out about 50 degrees right now. 
she's running good feeling good thanks for watching the video guys hope that helps you if you need to change out your AC compressor um, they're all pretty much the same most of them that I change they're usually up in the front towards the bottom somewhere same process take off the belt um, take off the bolts vacuum out the system first you want to go like and subscribe this channel then do all that stuff but all right guys thanks for watching